Hey, welcome to Online Maths TV. Let's quickly examine this simple exponential equation together. So we have the fourth root of x to the power of x equal to x to the power of the square root of x. What there will be the value of x. So without much waste of time, let's put down our solution here. So we take our solution, put down the question which is the fourth root of your x to the power of x equal to your x to uh, the power of square root of x. These are, are two different radicals. So what we do here is to rewrite these radicals, okay? The, these and this. So rewriting this, you can give us here your x to the power of x r to the power of 1 all over 4 equal to your x to the power of x out of the power of 1 all over 2. So having handled the radicals, what happened, we apply some of the uh, laws of indices, very simple one. So uh, we we'll know that if we have a to the power of m n, this is equal to your a to the power of your m bracket bracket n, and it's equal to your a to the power of n bracket your m. Okay, so if we succumb to this uh, simple rule of indices, we can bring this in, okay? So if we do that, we're going to have this, uh, this now implies that your x to the power of your x all over 4, this is equal to your x of your x all to the power of 1 all over 2. Okay, so let's continue on this side of the board. Now, if you look at this, the bases are the same. So since the bases are the same, we can quit the exponents. And so, first of all, we can get the value of x from the base, a coefficient, okay? The base coefficient here, yeah, they are the same. So we have one, one. Automatically, we have x is equal to one. So the first value, which is our x one, is equal to one, okay? One is the first value to our x from this expression. Okay, again, I take this, since the bases are the same, and the coefficient to the base numbers are 1, 1. So it tells me that 1 is one of the uh, roots to this uh, exponential equation. So now let's equate the exponents here now. So if we equate the exponent, this will now give us here your x all over 4 equal to, here we have your x to the power of 1 all over 2. We have to eliminate this one all over two, which is this radical. How? Let's square both sides of the equation. So if we square this side, we call it square this side. So this, this will leave the system. So we are now left with, you know, and we use this to open this, we're going to have here x squared all over 16. This is equal to your x. So eliminate this 16 by multiply through by 16. So we have x squared equal to 16x. Okay, we're looking for x. We could as well say, let's cancel x from both sides. But as you can see, this is a quadratic equation. So we are expected to get two roots to this expression here. So what we do here is move this term to this side of the equation. So this will now give us here x squared minus your 16x equal to 0. Let's put this in bracket and factor out x from this expression. So we now have your x bracket, your x, x into x squared will give us x, then x into 16x so will left with 16 equal to 0. We cannot apply the zero product rule. So it says that we equate this to 0, equate this to 0. So we now have your x equal to 0 or your x minus 16 equal to 0. Here we're going to have this to be x equal to 0 or x is equal to uh, 16. But here we have some challenge with the uh, this root here. Okay? This root will have some challenge with this. This will satisfy our equation, but this will have uh, some challenge with this. When you plug this into this, I want to see your reaction because most mathematicians have argued that your 0 to the power of 0 is um, 0. Okay? Why some other said 0 to the power of 0 is undefined. I'm of the opinion that 0 to the power of 0 is undefined. 
okay? Because I'll be able to um, uh, prove that in some of my videos. You can scroll through my videos and see where I prove this uh, uh, actual definition. Our equation here will have this to be x is equal to um, 0, the first one, then x1, x2 is equal to 1, then x3 is equal to 16. And of all these answers, we are saying that this guy should be rejected. Okay? This guy, this guy is rejected. So the two answers or roots that will satisfy our equation, this and this. If you plug that into this initial equation, you will discover that it will satisfy this equation. All right. So this marks the end of this simple exponential challenge. And thank you for always being there. You've made us proud because you've always been there uh, viewing our content. And we are proud of you. Remember, this is all I must TV. And my name remains what? Jakes Anemo. As you all know. All right. I love you. And every one of us at All I Must TV loves you. Because you are always there. Bye. For now.